Okay, okay so hold, hold the line until uh, Tilly's there and then say, uh, call right. now. I'm holding, and I'll, uh, I'm holding Okay. He's on, the, he's on the call right now. I will let you know when he's done with that call, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, you don't have a cell phone? No, I do have, but they don't allow us to use cell phone inside the workplace. Oh, okay. Why not? Yeah. They're worried you can steal, steal credit card or uh, gift right. card numbers. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's what they think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, by the way, the, the other guy's not in the phone, okay? So you can call him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a nice. second. All right. All right. Calling. Don't tell him. Yeah, I'm telling him to be aware of your call. No, I don't tell him that. Hello? Hello, scammer! Is that Chris Anderson, scammer? Hey, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> You're not going to cuss me out? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, Sorry. so that that was him, was it? Yeah, that was him. Oh, okay. You should have. Sh yeah, you shouldn't have told him. You should have just let him uh, let him rage. Security administration, how may I help you? Uh, hello, returning your call. And when did you receive this phone call, sir? Oh, I think it was about 30 minutes ago. All right. Could you please confirm your first and last name? Uh, Bob Smith, or Bobby, Bobby Smith. All right, just a moment. And what's your name? You're speaking with Officer Andrea Parker from the Social Security Administration Department. Oh, okay. All right, just give me a minute while I pull out your file and tell you what the call was about. Okay, sure. Well, sir, I do see that there are three people that pop up with the same name. So, in order to verify you, could you please confirm the last four digits of your social? Uh, I'm a little concerned to do that because if I get my in trouble. Uh, well, sir, I need to pull up your file to give you any information as to what the message was pertaining which is why I need to verify that this is the right person I'm speaking with in order to give you the information, as it is confidential. So I do not want to be giving out information to the wrong person, you see, uh, which is why I have to go ahead and verify you. Uh, okay, six, seven, two, nine is the last four digits. All right, just confirming it's six, seven, two, nine. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Well, sir, I do see that this call was to inform you that we've received orders from the federal authorities to place a block on your social security number. So, are you aware about the situation? Uh, no. And have you received any phone calls from your local sheriff department in regards to this? No, I haven't. All right. Have you ever been to Texas before? Uh, no. All right. And have you ever been a victim of identity fraud before? Uh, not that I know of. All right. Well, the reason I'm asking is the same reason that we will be placing a block on your social, which is that there is someone or a group of people who is trying to use your personal information for identity and has committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Oh. So, uh, have you disclosed your social security number to anybody? Uh, yeah, I've lent it to a few people, like for renting cars and stuff, but... uh. I need to, uh, my friends, close friends. All right. Uh, and do you drive? Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, of course, yeah. All right. And is it a regular one or? What do you mean a regular one? Is it like a regular, a permanent driver's license? I mean, uh, you're not on a learning driver's license, right? No, I'm definitely on a, on a standard license. Uh, I drive cars, trucks, bikes. All right, okay. And uh, have you ever, uh, what vehicle do you drive, firstly? Well, as I just said, I've, uh, I've got multiple vehicles. So I've got a uh, Yamaha R1 motorcycle. I've got a Ferrari 308 GT. And I've got a Ford Mustang. All right. And have you ever rented a black Toyota Corolla before? 
Uh, no, can't say I have. All right, okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is because, as you know, the DEA is the Drug Enforcement Administration. Now, the DEA down in Texas have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the make and made model of that vehicle happens to be a black Toyota Corolla with the VIN number is TX982071. Now, this car was found to have some blood and drug residues inside of it. So, after the investigation, they found that this car was rented under your name and under your social, and that there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. Now, upon investigating, they came to know that one of the addresses was fake, while the other was registered at 6200 North 100 Avenue, Apartment B, Houston, Texas, with the zip code is 72008. Now, when this address was raided by the U.S. Marshals and team, unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. However, they did recover around 22 pounds of cocaine, which you know is an abuse of drugs, and some documents from financial institutes, such as the Chase Bank, the Bank of America, the U.S. Bank, the TD Bank, etc. And all of that paperwork had your name on it, which is why you are under federal investigation in the state of Texas with two criminal charges pressed against your name, which is drug trafficking and money laundering. Now, why money laundering is because after investigating these documents, which were found in the residence, they recovered that almost $200,000 of dollars had been wired locally and internationally. Now, that does seem totally suspicious to us, which is why you are under federal investigation in the state of Texas. However, we did also run a background check in your previous records and verified you never had any criminal records and no such fraud activity was ever reported on your social until this happened. So, we do believe that it might be possible that you are a victim of identity theft, which is why this phone call was issued to check and rectify what exactly is going on and get to the bottom of this. Oh, okay. So, uh, what are your thoughts in regards to this? Um, do you have any suspects as to who could have done this? Well, it could have been anyone. Could have lost my wallet. Could have been anything. Yes, sir. Well, um, in that case, we will be suggesting the courthouse to safeguard your true belongings that you claim to be yours and freeze any remaining account and assets by the, uh, the imposters which were created by them and your identity to stop any future criminal activities on your social. So, in order to do this, we will be suspending, firstly, your social security number, and we're going to reissue the new social to you. Now, in order to do this, there will be two officers from the Federal Trade Commission, along with two U.S. Marshals, that will be coming to your doorstep, and we're going to show you paperwork and all documentation in regards to this. So, in order to get that up and running for you, could you please confirm your zip code? Uh, can I just ask one question? Uh, where's that accent from? Uh, I've never quite heard anything like that. Um, well, sir, I am a mix, so my parents were a mix, which is why the accent differed. Okay, can I ask where you're from? Uh, well, sir, that is kind of personal, so we're not really allowed to disclose that because it's about okay. our personal life. So oh, I'm it's just afraid I won't be able to, to give you that. Interesting to listen to you, that's all. I've just never quite heard anyone quite like you. All right. Well, sir, I would require you to confirm your zip code, please. Yeah, sure. 90265. I'm sorry? 90265. Sorry, I heard the zero as a three. So wow. So, confirming it's 90265, right? No, uh, nine, yeah, yeah. All right. Actually, you sound like you're kind of from Mongolia, uh, near Mongolia. Is that right? No, sir, I'm afraid not. Okay. All right, continue. All right, so uh, as I said, we will be suspending your social and we will get the appointment fixed for the officers to come down to your doorstep and your zip code that you just confirmed with me was 90265, right? That is correct. All right, perfect. So, um, however, at this present moment, we do not know any of these active accounts or assets under your name which belongs to you and not the imposters. So, over this federally recorded line, we will be filling out an asset verification form for you so that we can safeguard your true belongings and freeze any remaining accounts and assets that are created under your identity which does not belong to you. All right? Okay. So, in order to do this, I will be transferring the call over to my senior officer, 
who has your case file and will be assisting you further in regards to this and how we're going to be safeguarding uh, your assets and accounts. All right? Okay. Before you do that, could I ask you something? Yes, sir. Yeah, what size are your breasts? I'm sorry? What size are your breasts? Okay. I asked what size are your breasts? And I said, what that have to do with anything? Well, it might have something to do with your voice. Like, I'm trying to work out uh, where you come from. I'm sorry, that's inappropriate, sir. But why is that? What do you mean, why is that? I'm sorry? It's a valid question, so that's why I'm asking you. No, it's not a valid question. You need to know who you're speaking with, and there are certain ethics that you need to follow when you're speaking to an officer. Oh, okay. But I'm speaking to a scammer. I'm not speaking to an officer. A social security scammer. Yeah. So what size? 